does it stand out to you guys that you're going to have to do at a really high level against this Blazers team? I'm um, really just playing our game at a high level, uh, no matter who we compete against. Um, you know, they have a you know, real good backcourt that you know, we're going to have to you know, stay disciplined with, you know, close out on the shooters and um, you know, make sure we communicate communicating on the defensive end because they got some sets that you know, can't put you in a doozy. So um, it's big communication at a high level. When you're kind of up at the level of the screen there on McCollum or Lillard, what's key for you in terms of being able to show and then be able to get back uh, without giving up a, a wide open three? Um, it's most definitely, you know, staying disciplined and um, trying to, you know, uh, change their decisions. You know, not not too much, of, not too many gambles because you know, they are, you know, guards that can get through the seams and you know find guys to create. So Lillard and McCollum, you know, definitely gonna have to get out there up on the screen and. Try to change their direction. You make them un uncomfortable, especially, and um, you know, make other guys make the plays um, to win the game for them. So, take the ball out of their hand. No, it's almost a half season under your belt with the Thunder. How does this year differ from other seasons that you've been since you've been in the league? It's for, fun. You, for you personally. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. It's fun. It's, it's just, I'm having fun playing basketball, and you know, guys are just you know so enthusiastic and. You know, we have leadership in the locker room, and you know, guys want to come here and play basketball every day and look forward to winning games and um, have a direct mentality. Um, so, you know, that's all, that's all I've ever dreamed of, you know, playing in the NBA. And, you know, it's ideal right now. And, you know, there's a goal. You know, there's something that you're playing towards. And, um, you know, it makes, it makes the most sense to me. You know, it gives me a purpose. And every time I step out on that court, every time I step in a locker room, you know, guys are just so, um, you know, involved with each other, and it's, it's a complete team. Yeah, I don't want to assume anything. Is all that kind of like the goal, having fun playing basketball, is that new, or is it something you haven't experienced in a few seasons or something? Yeah, more, more so in a few seasons, um, but, you know, regardless, you can have fun, but you just want to win games at the same time, so, you know, you can be having fun, but it's nothing like winning games at a high level. With a great group of guys that want to come out here and you know play as hard as you do and you know win as much as you do, so you know it's contagious. And guys like Russ P, you know, Jeremy, Steve, you know, have just been um, great leaders on this team. You know, showed me a lot in my first year in a um, you know competitive atmosphere. Well, when um you know I know McCollum and Lillard are different than Harden, but the way you guys were able to defend Harden despite him scoring a lot of points, do you take of some of the success that? That you take from Garden Harden the way you did. I mean, does that carry over into games after that when you have success, you know, defending the guy? You know, that 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 that's good. Most definitely, you know, I think that gives us a defensive high that you know that we can just you know continue to ride on. Um, you know, Harden is such a you know tough play to guard. You know, with the array of ways he scores in. So you know, Lillard and McCollum, you know, it's a two-headed monster. You know, not as focused as Harden, but you know, regardless, these guys like to. Get up a lot of threes and you know play downhill. So I think we're feeling good. Um, you know, bigs, guards. Um, you know, communication, defense has gotten back to where it's needed to be over the past few games. And um, I think as we continue through the season, you know, just trying to stay on the consistency on that side of the ball, and you know, it's really going to help us. You know, you know, continue to be that contender team we want to be. You so. and Steven have slightly different skill sets, both on both ends of the floor. What? What advantage does that give you guys to have those different looks? Uh, yeah, I think it really gives other teams disadvantages. You know, really don't know what the game plan for you might. Um, really, both of us are going to catch lobs, um, so you know, you're going to have to you know lay back. And, uh, you know, Steve's the big guy on the boards. You know, me, I'll get around and just you know be a havoc, wreak havoc defensively. So I think it's tough for the other teams to really um, try to zone in on one style of play. They're going to um, play the whole game because, you know, when I'm in, I might switch one through five so they can't really run their sets as much. Steve, you know, would just man the paint. So I think it just shows a lot of different looks for us that help us play in different ways that, you know, gets us up and down in transition. I'm working on a story that has to do with handshakes, pregame handshakes. Mm. Have you ever been on a team that's had as many guys that have as many hands? Oh, <laughs> hell no. Everybody got something. It's crazy. I don't really get into it because I just like to focus. But, man, yeah, they got a hell of handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think has the best handshake uh, kind of like combination? Have you, have you been watching some of those guys? Yeah, I see um, – 
Paul and um, Jeremy got the most, you know, funky hits. I got that little, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, it's funny looking, but it's nice, though. Like, do they kind of, do they kind of, like, try and include you in that, or did you, like, just make a choice to kind of, you know, just kind of do your own thing in the beginning? Yeah, I just made a choice. Just keep it regular. Yeah, I was just focused on the games. I can't remember all them joints. <laughs> I ain't used to that. If someone just came up and gave you a regular handshake, would that just seem weird to you now? Um... Just a regular one? Yeah. I mean, we, I, we got our little, like, you know, um, the dap and the little shoulder joint. So, uh, yeah, we just vibe out. I mean, <laughs> handshake, handshake. You mentioned leaders Last before. Um, aside from those on the court leaders, you have a guy like Ray. When do you see his biggest influence being, and what about him makes him <clears throat> able to do that? Most definitely. I think his biggest influence, especially the last couple games, he's been big on the bench, you know, talking to guys, um, especially talking to. Guys on the court, especially, you know, giving tips. Um, you know, even after timeouts, he's always giving you that extra word that you need. You know, one thing you might be a little slow on, a little too fast on. Um, you know, he's definitely been that that bench guy that helps us a lot. And, you know, especially on the refs. You know, I think he helps the refs too. Thanks, Darlene. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.